Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me trying new products. First impressions, I haven't used any of the products until right now that I filmed this video. A few of the products that I'll be using is the Norvina Anastasia palette, which looks like this. Another product that I will be using is the Smashbox Ablaze face palette. Again, this is beautiful. My highlight today, if you're wondering, was this I Love Sari Dose of Colors in Soulmate. Such a beautiful highlighter. I also have the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass and also a sample of the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. If you want to know what I thought about a lot of these products, just continue watching. I do want to mention that I still have my back to school giveaway, so if you guys are interested in entering that, definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. So if you want to see how I created this look using all new products, just keep on watching. with the face today just because my dark circles are in full effect today so the first product I'm going to be taking I haven't tried this yet and I think I have a full size of this no actually it's a peach one but this is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray and here is what that looks like I've heard really good things about this look how big this sample is I think I'm only gonna have like one use out of it oh this little thing sprays like really intensely. I can't really smell anything. I know it has, it says 100% said makeup went on smoother, hydrated, didn't transfer, and flawless. It's silicone and alcohol and oil free. So another primer I'm going to be using, I was just going to use this, but I wanted something smoothing, is this Tatcha sample that I got. It's the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. And this is what that looks like. I do have a sample size, but I did get this, so I figured I could use this little thing first. A lot of people have raved about this primer, so I know it's like $50, I think, for the full size. But we're going to go ahead and try this out for pores and see how it all works out. So I probably shouldn't have opened this all this way, but as you can see, it's kind of like a little paste here. And I have seen people use this and say that a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to start with this amount. I'm probably going to use more than that just because my pores really need it. Whoa, I see a difference on my nose already. Do you guys see a difference? Whoa, I see my pores like blurred and everything like that. I know a lot of people have been raving about this primer, so first impressions is nice. It really did blur. So for foundation, I'm going to be using this sample right here. This is a Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I have mine in the shade. I pick up a sample shade in G40+. Plus. G plus 40 actually. So here is the shade there. I'm going to use my sponge. This is the Stands Out Beauty sponge. It's like a memory foam sponge. And I used this in my last um, first impressions video and it was kind of different at first but I've been using this sponge like ever since then and I've just really been enjoying this sponge. It blends out my foundation really nicely and it just kind of makes it not look as heavy on the face. So the color I feel like is good. You definitely need more. So I felt like I used a lot of foundation for the coverage that I have. I feel like this is like a medium coverage because I still see like acne scars and stuff like that. But it does look really nice on the skin. It doesn't look heavy either. And I think the color um, of the foundation is good. Also, again, this is the Cover FX PowerPlay G Plus 40 shade. And then for concealer, I'm going to be taking this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I've picked this up a while ago and I just haven't used it. I've heard really good things about this concealer. So I have mine in the shade Light. Consistency is not... It doesn't feel too thick or like thin. I don't know, it has a good consistency. It feels like it would have pretty good coverage. And I'm just going to blend it out with a brush. I prefer uh, brushes for concealer than sponges. Just because I feel like brushes don't um, don't soak up that much product like um, sponges do. So I think the brightening is nice. I'm going to add a little more right here just because I feel like you can see my darkness. And I'm going to add some to my forehead and my chin also. I am going to take my beauty sponge and just kind of blend around it so it doesn't look super harsh. I feel like this light concealer is a little too light for me, 
right now. But it's pretty nice. I usually correct my dark circles and I just didn't today, which I probably should have because I feel like you could see some darkness right there still. And also what I did notice is that, I don't know if I didn't have enough powder, but I feel like I see some creasing right here. Like I set some creases, which is not good. So I would probably recommend you guys setting this well. For bronzing, I'm actually going to take this Smashbox product. This is the Ablaze Face Palette. It's a blush bronze and highlight uh, face palette. Here are what those shades look like right there. So I'm going to mix, I think, both of these shades for bronzer. This one kind of looks like a reddish tone bronzer, but we're just going to mix both of them. I'm not dipping my brush in here that much and I am finding that it's pretty pigmented. It's not like super pigmented that you can't control how much you're applying, but applying really nicely, so. And I'm also gonna apply some on my nose. For blush, I think I'm gonna go in with the same palette. I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Again, I'm like barely tapping into it and I see like color. It's pretty. And then this does have a highlighter, but I'm for highlighter, I'm actually going to take the I Love Sarai and Dose of Colors collab in Soulmate. Here is what that looks like. This is what the inside looks like. It looks dark on the pan, but when you swatch it, it's not that dark. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm just going like this and applying it like it's really pigmented that is blinding <laughs> so I did apply some MAC fix plus just to kind of settle all the powders and everything on my face and I feel like my makeup looks really nice like it looks really good except like right here I don't know if it's called the lights I can see some darkness here but when I went out to my uh, restroom to spray my face with the MAC fix plus I couldn't really see darkness I feel like if I color corrected a little bit before I applied that concealer I feel like it would be really nicely I did also fill in my brows I just took in this it cosmetics brow power universal brow pencil and universal taupe I feel like this color is nice for like every day I do find that you have to use quite a bit of product just because because it's not like super super pigmented which is probably a good thing so you don't mess up when using uh, the brow pencil I do like it I feel like it's a great like everyday brow color but yeah let's go ahead and jump into um, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be taking the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette but first I'm going to prime my eyelids and this is just the um, essence I love stage eyeshadow base um, this is not a new product. This is actually in my project pan. I'm just trying to use it every single day so I could give you guys a good update when I film my project pan update. I'm just going to take some of the face powder that I took and just set my crease area so my shadows blend out good. I've noticed that a lot of people are starting not to set their eyeshadow primer. I might try that, but I don't know how well that will work out for me. So I'm just going to do this real quick. And again, the palette we're going to take is the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used this palette yet. Yeah, look how pretty this palette is. I have seen a few reviews and I have seen that it is kind of powdery. So I know I need to go light-handed with this palette. So I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush right here. Let's see, what do I want to do today? I think the first shade I want to use is this one right here called Eccentric. Like this orangey shade. I'm dipping my brush. Yeah, there's kickback, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to apply this in my crease. I feel like I didn't like dip my brush in it too badly, and the pigmentation is really nice. I really want to go into this soul shade right here, but I don't know how it's going to look with this color. I feel like I need to use purples just because it's the Norvina palette, and when you think of Norvina, well, for me anyways, when I think of Norvina, I feel like it's purple tones. And I was just looking that I could have used this shade to set my eyeshadow primer. Let's go ahead and use Soul. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't turn out into a little hot mess. But And again, there is like some kickback. But I knew uh, after seeing reviews that I needed to go light-handed when using this palette. 
I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone just because I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I'm gonna just go in with the shade base. Well, this is really pigmented. I'm gonna deepen the outer corners with the shade called Passion, this dark maroon burgundy shade. The fallout on this is not as bad, or the kickback I should say, is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if peop some people were just like exaggerating the kickback or what. Yeah, there's kickback, but it's not like really bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. So this color is nice, but it's not like super dark or anything. It looks nice though. I wish there was like a deeper, I wish like this color was like deeper, like a dark purple. But this color's still pretty. So I cut my crease off of camera and I'm going to take this shade called Dazzling onto my lid. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to flip up my brush and go in with this shade called Rose Gold. Shimmer shadows are kind of chunky a little bit. Especially Rose Gold. I don't know if you can even tell between both of them. I'm gonna go in with the Passion shade and just bring it down to my lower lash line. And I think I'm also gonna go in with Eccentric again. And just kind of blend out any harsh lines. I wasn't sure what look I was gonna go for using this palette, but I kind of feel like it's like grungy a little bit, but not. I don't know. I like it. So what else is next? I'm gonna line up my waterline and I'm just gonna go in with the Essence Extreme Lash Eye Pencil. I used this in my last first impressions video. And it's super dark. Can you guys tell? Like I didn't even really use a lot of it. For a liner, I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Fly Liner, Long Wear Liquid Liner in because I'm black. <laughs> and it's just a felt tip liner. I'm just gonna create a wing liner with this. Ooh, it's really dark. Look at that wing. This was really easy to use. So let me do the other one off of camera and I'll be right back. This liner is super easy to use, really nice liner. And I have another sample product, you guys ordering from Sephora when they have like new sample size for free like definitely do that this is the new uh, hourglass caution extreme lash mascara and this is what the wand looks like it's really I really like these kinds of wands so let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works out I always like to apply mascara like on the inner part of my lashes just because when you apply eyeshadow it kind of falls on there so so I do notice that it is like separating my lashes and it also is kind of like volumizing them as well. Can you guys tell like a before and after? It's nice. I like it. The only thing I find a little hard is that the part you're holding is kind of like thick and wide. But other than that, it's nice. So I'm going to add one more shade. Well, actually, let me tell you guys what I did off of camera. I applied lashes, of course, you guys can probably tell. These are the Kiss Lashes Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection, and they're in the style Teddy. And then I also did apply the Hourglass Mascara in my lower lash line. So now what I'm going to do is apply a shade in my inner corners in this palette, and I'm going to take this color right here called Dreamer and apply it in my inner corners here again. All right, and I think we are done. The last thing I'm going to do is apply a lip color. And I also did pick up the Dose of Colors Ilo Sarai uh, lipstick in Aesthetica. I don't know if this is going to go well with this color. Let me see. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't really like this color with this eye look. So let's see what else I have. I picked up some of these Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. I got two shades. I kind of want to do blue just because I applied that purplish blue shade in the crease. I feel like it would really tie everything in. This is more of like a safe color. Should I do blue? 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I really like this color. To be honest with you guys, I would not wear this out in public because I'm not brave enough. But with this look, I feel like it looks super, super beautiful. So let's do a recap on all the products that we use. So the Nervina palette, I actually really like it. I thought it was going to be more like powdery than what I thought, like seeing all the reviews. It's actually a really good palette. So I did like this. What else? The Caution. Um, Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. This was nice. It was good. Um, I want to keep using it and see what else. I just did find that it was kind of hard to do my lower lashes just because the wand is like really small and like this part's really thick so you can't really go in the lower lash line but I did like this. The Essence Eye Pencil I did use in my first impressions last time and this was really nice. Still really enjoyed this. Ooh, the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I would definitely purchase a full size of this. This was really nice. I did enjoy this. For face, the Cover FX Power Play. It looks I feel like my foundation looks really nice and it also may have to do with this AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in a soft light. This is only a dollar and it was really nice. My skin looks really like airbrushed. What else? Ooh, the Tatcha Primer. That is really good. Would definitely keep using this and I would actually purchase a full size. So I still have this. I have a full, well, deluxe size is probably like this big and a little bit goes a long way. So I really enjoyed this. This was really nice. The spray was good too. It did feel pretty hydrating. Um, the Smashbox Ablaze palette was really good. Um, this is actually in my weekly makeup basket. I'm excited to keep on using this. This was nice. The Flower Beauty Concealer. I did find that it was good. I do see, again, some darkness still right here, but with a corrector, I feel like this is gonna be beautiful for my under eye area. Um, I just feel like my face looks like airbrushed. It looks really good. All these products were nice. Oh, and last but not least, this I Love Sari Times Dose of Colors highlight in Soulmate. This is beautiful. Look at this highlight, and I, you guys saw I didn't apply it that much with my brush like I just did like three maybe four swipes and applied it and this is what I got it's super super beautiful overall I don't feel like I had any bad products for first impressions um the only thing that didn't wasn't 100 for me is this concealer but it still looks beautiful on my under eye area I just need to correct my dark circles but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video bye